a push to protect the three masts of Lincoln's so-called pirate ship. There was a low-cost option uh, that could be shared. Uh, and, and we could work with the federal government, would love to keep it here. The town's chief administrative officer, Mike Kirkopoulos, says he discussed how La Grande Hermaine's masts could be saved with Niagara Centre MP Vance Badaway on Tuesday. What we're going to be doing right now is, is having an emergency meeting of council, uh, putting some options in front of council. Kirkopoulos says two options will be considered at that meeting, scheduled for Monday. Do nothing and allow the masts to be removed, or try to take responsibility for the site and preserve the ship. We hear thousands of people uh, are stopping here uh, on a yearly basis. Kirkopoulos says those visitors often become customers for local businesses, and if the masts come down, fewer people will stop. It becomes hard to see. The ship was reported to the Coast Guard in 2019 under its Vessel of Concern program, which addresses wrecked and abandoned ships. An assessment in March revealed the decayed structural integrity of the masts, prompting the decision to cut them off for safety. The Coast Guard says it couldn't find a current owner after the last one died in the late 90s or early 2000s. Transport Canada says the registration was suspended in December 2004 for non-compliance with the Canada Shipping Act, and the last owner on record was SunWest Sales Incorporated. The Coast Guard says it is considering removing the ship entirely sometime after the removal of the three masts. However, it says that that would be a much bigger job requiring more resources and currently there's no timeline for when that work may be done. The work that they are proposing will have a positive impact to preserve the site. Brock University maritime archaeologist Kimberly Monk says La Grande Hermaine's lower hull is of significance to Canadian maritime history and should be protected by removing the masts, which she says are causing stress to the hull. She thinks the hull alone could still be an historical tourist attraction. There there is an opportunity for museums and volunteer organizations to perhaps uh, bring that history to life. The Grand Hermaine was built as a ferry in 1914 at the Davy Shipyard in Lausanne, Quebec, the oldest continually operating shipyard in North America. It was first named Le Progress and was based in Trois Rivières. It was renamed La Verandrie in 1930 before being rebuilt into a coastal freighter and renamed La Marjolaine in 1956. The ship went out of regular service in 1968, becoming a spare ferry on the St. Lawrence in the 70s. It was used as a floating restaurant in the early 80s in Montreal and Quebec City, before it was redesigned in 1991 to look like one of the ships used by explorer Jacques Cartier, Le Grand Hermain, and became a restaurant again. That venture was unsuccessful and the boat actually sank in 1995. It was refloated and two years later it was towed to Jordan Harbour with talk of it becoming a restaurant once again, but that never happened and the ship was burnt by arsonists in 2003. Matt Ingram, CHCH News, Jordan Harbour.